YouTubers, subscribers, and friends, welcome to my channel. It is 8.02 in the morning. Let's see what the temperature is. It is, uh, go through here, 78 degrees today. And I'm at the park, believe it or not. I'm at the park. I'm going to do some exercise in here at the park. I haven't been here in a long time because I have been busy with the tiny house and other stuff going on in my life right now but today I'm not going to do anything with the tiny house I'm taking a break today look cuz Larry's not coming today and I don't feel like digging so I'm going to uh, do some exercise here at the park so I got my magnetic water here and yes I'm still drinking magnetic water still drinking my buy I love this drink right here I got so many different flavors no I don't get endorsed or sponsored by buy but buy if you're watching hit me up man I love your product all right let's get started let's get some walking done here at this guy over here riding a skateboard it's been a while since I seen him but he's 63 years old he's still riding skateboards it's cool to see him out here still riding this guy here that I've seen since I've been walking out here for two years I've seen him he comes out every day I haven't seen him in a while he's wondering where I've been just got through talking with him. Told him about the tiny house and what I've been up to. Like I said, it's been a while since uh, I've been out here. It's nice, nice weather. So uh, the reason I came out here today is uh, I need a change of scenery myself. I need to get away from the tiny house because uh, I'm I'm dreaming about the tiny house. I'm thinking about the tiny house. I'm working on the tiny house. The wind is picking up, and uh, although I haven't been out here walking, I still get my exercise walking all over Home Depot and stuff. You know what? I'm going to go the other way because the wind seems like it's blowing on me over here. Go back. And, uh, yeah, walking around Walmart and Kohl's and shopping for the tiny house. I've been getting exercise in, no doubt about it. My family's telling me I'm looking skinnier even though I'm not trying to lose weight. Uh, but for some reason, my weight scale is either broken, stuck at 200 pounds, or like my wife says, it's I'm putting on more muscle because I haven't gained any weight and I haven't lost any weight. But I'm still fasting. It is so hard to catch these woodpeckers on video because they like to hop around the tree branches. He was just pecking a few minutes ago. So I want to apologize for the wind if the camera's picking up the wind. But uh, it still surprised me the people that I meet that don't know anything about YouTube or the internet. Like this uh, gentleman back here with his dogs, he's asking me why I'm filming. He's like, I always notice every time I see you, like you're always filming. But that camera, what are you, what are you doing? And I told him about YouTube and stuff. He he had no clue about YouTube. He doesn't know anything about the internet. That kind of stuff still shocks me that even today people don't know anything about that. I mean, my family, I'm not surprised because they don't. I got two older brothers and a younger brother that don't do the internet and don't have any computers and don't know anything about computers. And I got a younger sister that doesn't do the internet, doesn't know anything about Facebook, which is shocking. But her kids do. So, I don't know. I don't know why I'm shocked, but just am. There's a big old crow right there. A raven, whatever you want to call him. It's a big bird, man. I watch these videos and I see these birds, and the camera doesn't do justice in these birds. I haven't really seen too many wildlife out here. So, I figure I'd make this video. I answer some questions and talk a little bit about Larry who I've known for a long time, but in these 21 days that we've been building this tiny house, I've got to know him even better. Even know stuff about him that I never knew about him. For some reason, he's been opening up and just telling me stuff out of the blue. For whatever reason, I have no idea. Even though I number these videos, it's been 21 days that we've actually worked on it, or I've done something to the tiny house. It's been longer than that. I started on my birthday, what, well, May 1st my birthday? It's prayed over there. And, uh, but I, 
when we first started, Larry and I were busting out 12 hour days, 14 hour days. And then my mom dropped the hammer down on Larry. She was getting angry that he's working too many hours. But, uh, yeah, before this, Larry was out of work for a year. He used to build subdivision homes, cookie cutter homes. And he got knocked off a ladder and broke his wrist. If you see, I forget which wrist it is, the left or right. If you go back in the videos and you watch, you'll see a big scar that goes right across his wrist there. Big one. It's like six or seven inches long. And uh, he was out of work for a long time. And uh, so when I needed something done, I remembered that he does this for a living, but I didn't know if his wrist was healed yet or not. So when I went to talk with my mom, she said, oh yeah, he's been doing these little side jobs here and there, repairing windows, fixing toilets and stuff like that. And I talked to my mom for a while, asking her, do you think Larry would be in physical shape to build this tiny house for me? But at the time, I didn't think it was gonna be a tiny house. I thought I was just gonna build a shed, which is morphed into a tiny house. And she told me, she said, you know what, let me tell you something. Larry is very good at what he does, but the one thing that drives me crazy, this is my mom talking, is he is so slow and repetitive. And when I asked her, what do you mean by that? She's like, he will go to Home Depot for just a nail. Oh, there's a snake right there. Hold on, let me get closer. I don't know what kind of snake that is, but I've always been told to be careful of the snakes here at the park. I've never seen one. Now I see one right here. Look at it. Looks like a king snake. He saw me turn around. He's a good three foot long. Hiding in them trees. I see in them trees. It's not a rattlesnake. He's just sitting there looking at me. You eyeballing me, boy? He's right there, but I'm not going to be able to focus because the tree branches. Feels like it's dropped five degrees. It feels colder out here now. Anyways. What was I saying? Oh yeah, my mom said that uh, he loves going to Home Depot and he's just really, really slow. So if you can handle that, you know, then uh, he can build it for you. And then when Larry came home, I was still talking to my mom. He's like, what are you guys talking about? I said, Larry, my mom says you're really slow. And he's like, yeah, she says that all the time about me. Hey, you cute little sucker, you sitting there looking at me. Come here. So if you happen to be new to my channel and you just come across this video, I had a budget for $4,500 for this tiny house, which like I said before, wasn't going to be a tiny house. It was just going to be a shed with a bed, you know, bedroom. That's it, just a bed. A place to put a bed because my son wanted his own bedroom. And uh, I figured we could get that done really quick and Larry told me two weeks. <laughs> That's the joke now. Every time my wife asks me, Larry, when's this thing going to get done? She he says, two weeks. And it's been longer than two weeks. There's 21 days that we've actually done work on it, but I started in May 1st. But uh, once my mom dropped the hammer down, with Larry started cutting the hours down to eight hours. But he's back to 14 hours again. I mean, he's not a lazy guy. He's slow, but he ain't lazy, that's for sure. I have to make him stop during the day because I'm tired. And... I don't want my mom getting mad at me. She was coming over to my house and trimming my trees and stressing me out because my mom's 70, 79 years old, climbing up on top of ladders that are rocking back and forth like this and just stressing me out. And uh, she's like, I do this all the time. She hates my yard because the trees have all this mistletoe growing in. She says it kills the trees. And she, she says I got beautiful trees. And, she wants to trim them up for me, but look at this, a hummingbird. 
hummingbird flying around. Oh, he just buzzed my head. He went right by me. Man, these birds are so fast. I can't get them on video. I get these butterflies though. <laughs> so beautiful, the butterflies. <laughs> Look at it just fluttering around like that. It's so beautiful. <laughs> my daughter loves butterflies. I have an older daughter that's in Florida. She's 32 years old. And she loves butterflies. So every time I see a butterfly, I think of my daughter. Not that I don't think of my daughter every day, but I just, when I do see butterflies, it's the first thing I think of. It's uh, my daughter. So much nature going around here. That's the problem with some people in life. Nobody likes to stop and take, let me go this way, I'm this way. Take the time to just take in the nature, man. Look around, check out your scenery around you. Too, too busy texting and driving and hauling through life, you know. But you, you gotta slow down and take in the scenery. Even if you live in the city, stop and go to the park or something. There's a bird right up there. And take in that scenery, man. It's relaxing. That's why I had to come to the park today because I need to clear my head and just get away from the tiny house. Even though I wanted to finish this tiny house so bad and get it done so bad because I got my daughter and grandkids coming from Florida here in a week and a half. And I wanted to get it done before they get here, but it, I don't think I'm going to get it finished in time. So, uh, if you've been watching this and if you're new to the channel, like I said, and you're wondering why I'm not working on this every single day, it's because... That's the reason because my mom has slowed everything down. Plus, Larry is starting to get busy. He's got five new jobs, side jobs that he's working on since he started working in my house. They're not big jobs like mine, but they're like fixing a door, fixing a shower, windows. He's building a gazebo for one lady, which He's been trying to get her to come up with the money for two months before he actually started mine, and that's why he decided to do mine because she never she kept telling him, oh, another week, another week, and that's why he started mine. Well, I think I'm going to go out there and look for some wildlife, get off the path here. And uh, so Larry's been telling me a lot about himself. He's been doing this kind of work for 28 years. Larry, I never knew this, is, has a twin brother. He has an older sister, he has a twin brother, he has two younger sisters which are twins, which he is taking care of one of his sisters who has dementia and uh, no one else in his family wants to help her. My mom takes care of her actually. And I told her, why don't you put her in one of those homes and have somebody take care of her. My mom's like, no, I'm not going to put her in a home because they will mistreat her. So financially they've been strapped because the money that Social Security was paying the uh, his sister they stopped it and then Larry's been footing the bill out of his own pocket but uh, with my wife's help talking to my mom getting her to get on access and stuff like that to get some help uh, they've been able to get uh, Larry's sister some insurance and get this social security thing fixed. There's a tiny freaking little bird. I mean real freaking tiny right here. So tiny. It's, not, it's, it's smaller than a chicken wing. Holy smoke. This freaking lizard is huge. He just scared the crap out of me. He was just right here in this cactus right here and he just shot out like a freaking tornado. He's doing push up there. He's kind of like the one that's in my house, my yard that I see every day. Godzilla! He just ran from this cactus right here. He just ran. It scared the tar out of me because I was focused on this squirrel that went in this hole right here. Big hole right there. The fifth time Larry and I were going to the hardware store, I was backing out of my carport and I smacked this on my stairs and now it's wobbling. Larry says they're designed to snap back, but this didn't snap back. And now it just wobbles. I have to go and fix that. Alright, well, 
that's my exercise. I'm pretty wore out right now. Drink me some magnetic water. Head to the house. My daughter is with my wife, working with my wife because she wants to make money. My son, he's still sleeping. He stays up really late because he's on summer break now. And he don't get up till noon. He's not much of a hustler. Ain't that right, Batman? It's very relaxing coming to the park. I really needed this. Like I said, uh, I had to get away from the tiny house, even though I want it done as much as possible. Uh, it's driving me nuts having to deal with it every day, like a job. You know, the people out there who do this construction work for a living, hey, my hat's off to you guys. It's a hard physical work, but it's not the kind of line of work that I like to do or that I do. Uh, but hopefully, uh, once Larry gets done with his plumbing, the, it's, the part about the plumbing is it irritates me because there's nothing I can really do. I mean, I hold the flashlight for him when he's under the house, you know, and I cut the tubing and stuff to the length he asked me to, but that's, that's not really physically working, like doing the hammering, like doing the roofing, putting up the ply, uh, plywood and, you know, the insulation and cutting the wood for the stairs and stuff like I'm really physically doing the work I'm really building but uh, the last two days we worked on this plumbing I haven't really done anything exciting that's why I haven't really filmed much of the plumbing because it's pretty boring repetitious just I don't know I think Larry has a disease and don't get me wrong I love Larry I've known him a long time he's a really hard worker He's not a lazy guy, but sometimes I just want to choke Larry because sometimes I'm all about measuring twice and cutting once, but sometimes I think Larry has it. I knew a guy one time. He had to touch the door now 23 times before he could even walk out of his house. And now, look at that tiny house over there. Larry has to measure. This is what I learned about working with Larry. He has to measure something 10, 12 times before he will cut the wood or pipe or whatever he's cutting and how I know that he's ready to cut something is he will write it down on the wall of the tiny house he will write down the measurement and then then I know the next thing he's gonna do is he's gonna cut whatever he's cutting but uh, he or he will go back and forth to his truck for a tool and I'll I'll ask him what do you need Larry I'll go get it and He'll say, no, I got to get it. I know exactly what I'm looking for. He would go to his truck and get something to come back to the tiny house and forget and go back and do that several times. And uh, my mom warned me about this stuff and I just thought she was exaggerating. But um, just yesterday, because we had to go to the hardware store five different times for the same type of thing, elbows for the plumbing. And I was like, Larry, on the fifth time, I said, Larry, are you sure we don't need anything else. And then he said to me, is this, is this irritating you that I forget easily and I have to go back several times to get stuff? And I said, if I answer you honestly, Larry, is it gonna make you speed up any faster? And he said, mm, probably not. And I said, no, Larry, it doesn't bother me. Uh, my mom warned me about it. And he's like, oh yeah, your mom, gets very irritated when I have to go back and forth several times for tools or supplies or anything like that. It really drives your mom crazy. And I didn't want to tell him that it makes me crazy too, but I don't want to upset him in any kind of way to where he might say, all right, well, I'm going to take a week off because I need to get this house done. But uh, honestly, I told my wife, I was telling my wife the story about the hardware store, which is like right there. I was like, I wanted to choke him because I told him in the very first time we went, buy 10 of them. Whatever you don't use, I, I can take back. I have the receipt. We ended up buying six pieces of the same freaking thing. And uh, to be honest with you, that's the only thing that really irritates me is that I always tell him, just buy more than what you think you need. I can always return it. it, it I can return it the trip to return something doesn't bother me like going to the freaking store for the same thing over and over that drives me nuts 
but uh, I've learned to bite my tongue and, and not get angry with him or he's, he's like you're actually really patient I work with your other, older brother and he can't stand the way I drive he can't stand the way I go back and work to the toolbox Look at that. that's gonna be a Dollar General store right there they're moving along pretty quick too but uh, I don't know I'm at the age of 53 years old that uh, I've learned to bite my tongue on things that might start an argument with somebody or just make matters worse or hey you know what I don't usually carry cash with me but I got two dollars in my wallet I'm gonna go in here I'm gonna grab me two lottery tickets I haven't been buying any lottery tickets my wife buys them all the time she has a YouTube channel where she scratches lottery tickets you may want to check it out I'll put a link to her video channel down below it's called Mama Lee that's all she does is lottery tickets on her channel and she actually makes money from her videos let me go in here and get two dollars Where's the lottery tickets? So I got two of me, uh, these lucky sevens here, a dollar each. Let's see, I'll scratch this when I get home. Let's see if I win. Well, I won one dollar. Got one dollar back. What's going to happen? Say good morning to you guys yet. Good morning. Where's Josie? Where's Josie? Good morning, Josie. I haven't said good morning to you girls yet. What's going on with that? I'm getting mosquitoes bite me. Hey, hey, why are you grouchy? Why are you doing that for? I've never seen you do that. No, you don't do that to him. Hey, hey, look what you started. See what you started? Why are you guys all grouchy today? Huh? Why are you all grouchy today? I gotta clean your eyes. There's something wrong with your eyes. Let me go get a wet wipe. I'll clean your eyes. Daddy, take care of your eyes. All better now, huh? Hey, you guys cut it out. What is wrong with you guys today? So grouchy today. Who's digging the holes over there? You guys are back to digging holes again? Crazy. That's another honeydew listing my wife told me to do. Can you clean out the dog pool? Why? It's gonna rain. Look at the clouds. And the rain's just gonna get dirty again. Josie likes to get in there, get wet when she gets hot. Alright, good girl. You guys be nice to each other. Alright, well I think I'm gonna end it there. It's pretty much going to be a relaxing rest of the day for me. I'm going to wake my son up. He's still sleeping. And uh, tomorrow's Friday. Or maybe by the time you're watching this, it's Friday. But uh, we'll get back to these tiny house adventures. But today, I'm just going to take a mental break. I'm not going to fill those holes in. My wife wants to fill them in. She can fill them in. I'm not touching that. I'm not digging this trench either. Cause we're not to that part yet once the plumbing gets done we're gonna focus on finishing the drywall and getting the roof in figure out what I'm gonna do for the flooring uh, once we're all done with the inside then we'll tie into the freaking plumbing outside unless that guy comes and digs that trench then I'll be motivated to do the outside plumbing but until then he hasn't called me back I don't know what's gonna go on uh, yeah, I can't wait to get rid of this crap, ugly crap here and put the vinyl fencing there. That's going to require more digging. And uh, even though I'm physically, I'm not tired mentally, I just feel drained. I just feel, I don't feel like doing nothing today. Maybe it's because it's this gloomy weather. It looks nice over there. But, uh, yeah, thanks for every single one of you that watched my videos and subscribed to my channel. And been sticking around watching this tiny house adventures because uh, like my friend told me a youtuber told me um, I have a Seinfeld channel you know the Seinfeld show it's a show about nothing but about everything that's what my YouTube channel is I've had people ask me all the time why do I have the name I seek out the truth and when don't even talk about anything about truth and it's because uh, YouTube actually gave me that name when I was trying to come up with a channel name because I had three channels before this channel and uh, they just didn't work out. Well, one did. It was when I lived in Indonesia, my life in Indonesia, but since I didn't live there no more, I canceled that channel. I tried the comedy channel before this truth channel. Didn't work out. No viewers, nobody watching, no subscribers. And then I had another uh, fix-it type channel that didn't really work out too good. This channel has been my best channel. I have other channels, but I don't really do much on those channels anymore either. But uh, YouTube gave me that name, and it just, I don't know, just sounded cool, so I stuck with it. But 
so far my channel is about anything and everything that's going on in my life if you happen to be new to my channel and wondering what the heck this channel is about that's it I get these daily vlogs which I can go back a couple years go back or go back a week back and I can watch over what I did that day basically this channel I made for myself and my friends and family and it's just taking off and growing and uh, this tiny house project is just another thing that I doing in my life that is taking over my channel right now you know so I, I tried to switch it up and do different things like today answer some questions go back to the park do some more wildlife videos because I like watching the wildlife in my yard and at the park and anywhere I go so if anybody's wondering what this freaking video is about that's what it's about that's what this channel is about it's about anything and everything there's not one thing going on like lightning can strike this tree tomorrow and that would fall I'll make a video of me cleaning that up and talking about what happened it could be about my crazy neighbor Mrs. Kravitz over there or the crazy pit bull dog there or what's going on with this new neighbor I got over here Patrick I'm curious because I don't know I haven't seen him for two days and usually every single day he comes over here to look at the progress so even though I don't really know the guy I'm kind of worried what happened to him so if you're wondering that's what's going on with my channel. It's a channel about anything and everything that's going on in my daily life. Shopping, Walmart, Kohl's, movies, eating, food, whatever. Whatever's going on. And if you like those kind of things, well, hit that subscribe button. It don't cost you anything. It's free. And uh, if you like it, smash that like button. It doesn't take you but a second to do. And... Uh, Thank you, as always, for taking the time out of your days to watch my videos and my daily life activities. I'm gone! I'm gone!